James Burns' mother Anne told me that the Burns are in the Glen for over 200 year. So I allowed that's 200 year of sheep men. And so James, I don't know what generation he is, but he knows plenty about sheep and plenty about gathering the hill. And he's fairly particular about his stick too. How long do you have an inch too long? Yep. So long are we? Jim has to have his stick perfectly tuned for going to the hill. Shall we go along the top again? Yeah. Clocked out from Green Hand up 14k. To where? From Green Hand up to the end of the track. Oh dear. Yeah. Who knew that? The lambs came in off a good dish. All years. Yeah, our lambs are heading down near Paddy. Who's that with Jim? Going down to um, Bradshaw's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly a bigger job getting them down, Edward, than he's getting them up, yeah, isn't, isn't it? it? Come on, Charles. <laughs> it's a bit like Jim. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to do this evening, Jim, when this is over? Not much, I'd say. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> oh, there's a sheep you tapped out a minute ago. <laughs> So we all split up at this point and we go our various directions. Me and Jim went out a little bit and then I went up over. You can see Jim here pushing on a batch of sheep there and Nolly Miley and Edward Cal are getting the hardship there down below Jim there down in the rocks in the valley. So James sends his dog Bob here to cover some yaws that are starting to break. See there now, he's able to send them a good distance. Bob turns down these three as well for James before they start getting ideas. It's very easy for them to slip away on you there. Good dog is able to make it very Hello, simple dog. Take the last one. Keep it simple. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. Hit it. Hit it.